What's up YouTube? I'm sure you guys have heard of the Logitech G Pro Super Light that's recently been released. And so since this thing showed up in mail today, I'll be unboxing it and just giving my first impressions. Now I've been using the original Logitech G Pro Wireless ever since it released mid 2018. And so I thought it would be an update to just try out the new Super Light. The white just looks really clean, to be honest. It does feel quite a bit lighter just off of my first impression. Like if I hold this in my right hand and then I compare it to the current wireless, it's a noticeable difference, especially since uh, I've used this mouse pretty much 12 to 16 hours a day. The 20 gram difference really makes a huge impact on how it feels over time. Now, obviously this is just me carrying it, me actually sliding it on the Mouse pad will have a different feeling, but I do like how light it is uh, when I'm just holding this thing around. Now, obviously on the bottom, we're going to have the charging cable. Probably here, this is the cable right here. And it comes with the USB dongle as well. How do you get this thing out? There we go. There's the charging cable. We also get the PTFE puck slide and also some side grip tape, I believe. Here we have some grip tape for the mouse if you intend to use it. I personally don't think I'm going to use it uh, just on my first impressions, but also the puck skate, which will go right here if you don't use any of the Logitech power play things, or if you really want to save weight, you could just remove this feet entirely. Now, obviously after connecting the USB cable, you want to connect it to the wireless dongle if you want to use it wirelessly, but I'm going to change some settings in Logitech G Hub. So you're just going to plug it into the micro USB port here. Honestly, I do know some people think that micro USB ports are annoying to have, especially in 2020 and soon coming 2021. But for me personally, I don't really care too much. And there we go. So uh, first thing, now I know I am using the super light on wired right now. I will change it back to wireless, but I do want to charge it for a bit. Something that you'll notice on the super light compared to the G Pro wireless is that they got rid of the DPI switch. Uh, they did remove the side buttons on the right side, which for me, since, you know, I'm a righty, I don't really use, I don't really care for them. That's why I have the non -but tactile buttons or just the covers, I should say. And um, for me, not having the DPI switch is actually a plus because I never use it. I don't change my DPI in game. I don't change it out of game. I only use one set DPI and uh, that's 1000. The last main difference you'll see between the two is that, you know, the logic set logo doesn't light up, but uh, honestly it helps with battery life too. So I'm not complaining. I just leave the normal one on just because I think it looks cool. Uh, even though it does drain a little bit battery, a little faster, I only charge the regular G Pro wireless about like once a week at most, and that's me using it a lot. Uh, the first thing I do in G Hub is I remove all of the customizable DPIs. Uh, I want to delete all of the ones that I'm not going to use. So by default, they have five. I just remove all of them except for one. And then uh, here, for my DPI, I will put 1000 because that is what I use for my native DPI. Uh, and I want polling rate 1000, just put the highest for me. And this is pretty much all I do. I don't really customize any of these uh, assignments. I know you can. And that's pretty much all the setup I, I have to do to get me set for gaming in G Hub. Now, before we start, though, I do have to unplug this and apply the PTFE to the puck as well. This is actually really kind of cool. You'll notice that it, like, fits right over. And I'm wondering if it'll fit exactly on top. I'm going to turn this off for a bit. 
So yeah, you'll notice that this puck has metal ridges on both sides. And I think they're magnetic to these two magnets that you can see on the super light. So you drop them in. There we go. Add the, the magnet pulls the reverse, but you heard that satisfying click, right? That's when you know you have the magnets oriented in the right direction. All right, so pretty much I'm gonna take my current G Pro wireless and then set it off to the side uh, of the table, which will actually be helpful because I use a two PC setup for when I stream and game at the same time. It will be helpful because there are wires currently dangling off the side of my desk. So I guess that's nice. And also I do prefer having wireless mice now. I will say the G Pro wireless for me, when I first started off using wireless mice, was a game changer for me just because of the removal of a wire and I did use a mouse bungee and it just doesn't feel the same as wireless. It just feels a lot better for me. And so I'm hoping what the super light will give me is just because it, of it being lighter, it will just, you know, be a little bit better. Obviously performance may vary from person to person. Um, also, the fact that there is a fresh scroll wheel on here. I've been having scroll wheel issue hops over here where, you know, I use scroll wheel down to hop in games like Counter-Strike and Valorant. And so sometimes when I flick really hard, the mouse wheel will just hop really quickly on a hard flick. And then it'll jump my character and then I'll lose a gunfight because of that. So I'm hoping that this particular mouse with this particular mouse wheel will not have that issue as often as this one does because it will happen at some point. That pretty much sums up my unboxing and first impressions video of the Pro X Superlight. I'm Sonic Kevin. You can follow me on Twitch and the social media's links down below. Thanks for watching the video if you made it this far and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Why is it not picking up? Oh, shit. I'm trolling. Okay, I have to turn it on.